What the fuck is this? Yeah. Excuse me, new area. I don't like that. I can't return. Carnival, huh? Carnival. You guys remember that game? Carnival? The arcade game? The game was tight. Man, I remember when Virtual Cop came out. Remember when Virtual Cop came out and the idea of like shooting their body after they were dead? That was like this cool idea. Time Crisis had that too. Man, Time Crisis was amazing. Time Crisis 1, I love that. Remember the concept of the pedal? I remember that. When they introduced the pedal idea, it was like a total game changer. It's so brilliant because before that you had to shoot your gun off the screen to reload it and the best players they would put their fingertips over the front of the gun to reload so you didn't have to take your gun off the screen to reload you could just cover the front pull the trigger and then let go so that's how the best players would play you know but then they brought out the fucking pedal and the pedal was crazy I see someone saying part two was the best, but I don't like part two because it had co-op. Co-ops for casuals. I like the solo. They always made it co-op after part one. So I don't like that. Part three, four, and even five, they're all co-op. We saw part five in uh, Japan. Part five is uh, like, there are two pedals. So you're undercover and you can come out one side or come out the other side. So two pedals per player. It's pretty crazy. I don't I don't like part two personally. I like part one. I mean I like part two, but it's not my favorite. Part one is my favorite. Am I going backwards? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I'm an only child. I never had any brothers or sisters. So I'm not really all about Damn, look at this oriental rug. Remember, you can call it oriental if it's an object. You cannot call a person oriental because they are not objects. So if I was to say my roommate Charles is oriental, that does not fly because he's a person. But these rugs, on the other hand, are oriental as fuck. You better believe it. Uh oh. Is this gonna be an oriental trap? Oh no, this is the elevator. Nice. Okay, unlock this shit. Jurassic Park Lost World Arcade? That was alright. That's the one where you sat down in a car, right? I didn't really like that. It always felt like that game is not designed to show off. Because you're sitting in a car, it's like some private shit. It's like you're, you, you know, having a weird roadhead makeout sesh. To me, shooting games were always meant to show off, right? Like, if you're really good at the arcade, you want to just show off how good you are. This vessel that didn't really work out with the uh, Jurassic Park game because you're sitting in a car with tinted windows and curtains. You know? Time Crisis and House of the Dead. Yeah, dude. House of the Dead 1 and 2, Time Crisis, but those are late game. Like, I used to play shooting games way earlier than that. Remember Lethal Enforcers? That was my favorite. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, I almost forgot. Here's your Christmas present. Virtual Cop was really cool. I feel like the shooting games, they were separated to me by the ones that were flat, like... Area 51, Lethal Enforcers, those games were like really flat. And then you had the ones that were like more 3D and when you killed someone, they didn't just flash and disappear. It was like you could shoot their limbs and get more points. So that was like the next era. That included House of the Dead, Virtual Cop, Virtual Cop 2, Time Crisis, all that. 
And I felt like the next era was when I stopped liking... Uh, when I stopped liking those shooters, it was when the default weapons became machine guns. Like, it was very common to pick up a machine gun, and it was just really... Like, the automatic weapons became very popular. I'm not into automatic weapons for shooters. Sure, sometimes you pick up a bonus for, like, an M16 or something, but it only lasts for a few seconds. Otherwise, I don't really like it. Star Wars arcade game? Yeah, I love that game. That game's really good. I think Charles is really good at that game. The only two games that Charles has ever been good at is Star Wars, the arcade game, and uh, Police Trainer. One time, dude, Charles, he used to always brag about how good he was at Police Trainer. He was, like, always talking about how good he is. But this motherfucker has been talking about how good he is at everything since the day I met him. I'm so good at Tekken. I'm so good at Street Fighter. He gets his ass kicked every time, right? So, you know, when he says he's good at something, it's like, sure, yeah, you're the best, world champion. But one time, we went to Round Table Pizza, and they had Police Trainer. And this was like his moment. This was his moment. And he put a quarter in that shit, and I sat there for what must have been an hour. Watching this guy just fucking blast all these fucking mannequins, police training his ass off. And he pulled through. He was hella good at that shit. And afterwards, he came clean and he said, that was the best I've ever done. So it was like this moment of like, all right, this is my chance. I've been talking all this shit about how good I am. And he did the best he's ever done. World record. All at Round Table Pizza. I love pizza. 